Hi Alma. I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, machine once you get it home. Um, the first thing you want to do is turn it around to the back. And you can first check to make sure that this little red piece here is flipped up and over to the right. If it's down, then balls won't flow through the track. Um, the second thing, inside this window here, there's a little metal seesaw. It's, it's brass, and it's uh, got two balls in it, and it teeter-totters or seesaws back and forth as you get jackpots. Now, right now, it's in this position. In that position, your machine won't pay out jackpots, and it'll back up with balls, so you have to reset it into this position. And the way you do that is there's a little plunger under here, and when I push it all the way up, that seesaw will reset. So I need to make sure that's reset. Um, now we can attach the battery here. You can just flip this over and when you do, you notice the light comes on. This light will come on anytime there's no balls in the top supply tray. Uh, but if I were to fill it up with balls, this wire comes down, hits this switch, and turns off that light. Now your machine only has one light bulb. So this bulb will come on uh, either when this tray is out and it'll come on and stay on or when you get a jackpot and if you get a jackpot um, there's a switch on the other side and it will um, it'll cause the light to flash so we'll load it up with balls and then you can um, and, and we'll see it flash so we'll, you'll take your balls and you'll put uh, about uh, 400 up here you got 500 balls so you put about 400 up here put some of these in the front tray but I just wanted to show you that once you're done you want to set your bucket here so that it'll catch balls that drop out of this hole and ones that drop out of this hole. So we'll take them, uh, some balls and put it in your play tray. We'll set the bucket and now we're ready to play. What you'll do is you'll pull down on this flipper and you're going to want to pull it down all the way to this post here, finger rest bar, and quickly let go. Usually I grab, put my hand here, grab my thumb on the flipper, and I pull it all the way down, and then I'll quickly slide my thumb off the flipper, and that'll allow the flipper to have enough power to launch a ball all the way on the play field. I'll do that once. The first time you load your machine, the very first time you shoot, um, it's loading a ball into the shooter lane. So we'll do it again. And this time the ball came all the way across. It bounced off a rubber rebound bumper here and then it dropped out. Now if it drops all the way down through this uh, exit hole here, it'll go into the tray and back. Uh, what you're trying to do is to get it to go into one of these pockets. And if it goes in any of these pockets, then you win more balls. So we'll play here for a little bit. Okay, I got one to go on this tulip here, and when it did, um, this light flashed, and we also got a payout of balls. And whenever it goes in the tulip, the tulip will either open or close, back and forth. Um, you can also get the tulip to open sometimes by going into other pockets. Let's take a look at that. So what we'll do is we're going to open the play field door so you can drop some balls in the pockets. Here is a lever here, and if I lift up on it, it'll pop open that door. right here. So I'm going I'm to hold it up, that way I can pull it open. So if you get a, a ball in here, here, the two red pockets, or if it drops through the top, or even through the side here, if it goes through here, either any of those three will open this tulip up if it's closed. I'll just drop one in here and show you. So um, it opened up the tulip. Now if we drop another one in, so the light flashed, the next time I get a jackpot, the light should come on and stay on. And drop one through the top. And do another one. Oh, okay, there the light's on. Okay, so uh, that tells us that we need to add balls to the top. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna close it. I want to take uh, both hands and squeeze. Make sure it's latched. Um, this is your play tray. Here's your overflow tray. So whenever you need to get the balls out of here, you're just going to slide this lever over to the left, and the ball should flow from here to here. Now they may jam up. If there's too many balls here, the weight of them may cause them to jam. So if, if that's the case, you just take your finger and kind of loosen them up. Yep, they're stuck. And that's how you take the balls out of here. So let's uh, take the balls out of the back. So uh, you never want to lay down your machine with balls in it or, or transport it with balls in it. So you take them all out of the front as I just showed you. And if you have balls up here, the way to get them out, there's a, a metal here that holds these two uh, white arms. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up and slide it to the right. Up. Now all the balls up here up to this point um, drained out. Now you still have some balls here in this part of the track and in your jackpot assembly. So we're going to need to manually activate a jackpot and you can do that just by grabbing this arm and lifting up. Check. Okay. Now we got all the balls out so you can transport your machine or store it away. Um, you want to lock this back in place because otherwise, if you were to take your bucket of balls and pour them up here, they just, they just drain out. So we'll go ahead and lock it and we'll test it. Okay, great. So we know that it's locked. Um, and of course, unplug your battery when you're done so you can store it. Okay, that takes care of the basics of your machine, um, how to operate it and play it. Um, if you have any other questions, we've got lots of information on our uh, instruction DVD, about a couple hours of information there. Uh, thanks so much.